Hi everyone! This week I've decided to make a very simple crochet baby hat or baby bonnet. I will be using very basic crochet stitches that will put together this beautiful stitch pattern you see here. The hat is made of three parts. The first part is made in rounds using a simple double crochet stitch. The second part is made of rounds and that's the part with this interesting stitch pattern. And the third part is a part that ties in a bow and goes around the neck area. As always you can find a written pattern on my blog and beautifully designed PDF version of this pattern with one additional size in my Etsy shop. Now let me show you what you will need for this tutorial. You will need some DK weight yarn, I am using 100% cotton yarn in pink color, 4mm or G6 crochet hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle to hide the yarn tails and stitch marker to mark important stitches. Let's start with the pattern. We will start with the magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your fingers. Go below the first string of yarn, pull the loop with your crochet hook and chain 2 to secure the magic ring and leave the round. Be careful because this chain at the beginning of the round will not count as your first stitch. Continue and work 10 double crochet stitches into the magic ring. So yarn over, insert the hook, pull the loop through, you have 3 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through 2 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull the loop through remaining loops on your crochet hook. And that's your first double crochet stitch. When you are done, pull the loop and close the hole in the middle of the magic ring. Now end the round with one slip stitch into the very first stitch of this round. This slip stitch is just a joining stitch and does not count as a stitch in the pattern. Also, we have to make sure we skip it in our next round. In case you forget, we will end up with one additional stitch in our next round, which is not so good. Let's continue with round 2, chain 2. This chain does not count as our first stitch. Work 2 double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. Don't forget to place a marker into the first stitch of this round, then continue with the double crochet stitches. Make sure you skip the slip stitch from the previous round. Once you are done, join the round with a new slip stitch which has the same meaning as slip stitch from the previous round. So it's not a real stitch but it has a very important job holding the round together. Without a slip stitch there would be no round, just row. Round 3 Start the round with chain 2 to leave the round and start repeating the sequence. So 2 double crochet stitches into the first one, 1 double crochet into the next one all the way around.
Once you are done, skip the slip stitch and create a new one to join the round. At the end of this round you should have 30 stitches in total. We are now in round 4. Start with chain 2. Again, chain 2 does not count as a stitch. Work 2 double crochet stitches into the first one and 1 double crochet into next 2 stitches. Repeat this sequence 9 more times, so 10 times all together. With increasing in 1 in every 3 stitches, we will get 10 additional stitches. When you are done, skip the slip stitch from the previous round and join this round with a new slip stitch. At the end of this round you should have 40 stitches in total. Round 5. Start with chain 2. Now work 2 double crochet stitches into the same stitch and 1 double crochet stitch into each of next 3 stitches. Repeat the sequence 9 more times, so 10 times all together. That will give us 10 additional stitches to our work. When you are done, join the round with a slip stitch. At the end of this round you should have 50 stitches in total. From now on we will work in rows. The number of stitches each row will stay exactly the same, so instead of joining each time we will skip the slip stitch part. Then we will turn our work and start with a new row. Let's start with chain 2. Now work 1 double crochet into each stitch all the way around, so 1 double crochet into each of next 50 stitches. When you are done, just turn your work and start with row 7. Let's continue with row 7. Chain 1, 
Start in the very first stitch of the row and create a half double crochet. Now this part is made of double crochet stitches, chains and slip stitches. We are familiar with all the stitches by now, so next few rows, even though they look complicated, shouldn't be so hard to make. Let me show you. Skip first two stitches, now create two double crochet stitches into the third one. Once you've done, chain 3 and attach this chain to the same stitch with slip stitch. And that's it. Let's make one more. So skip two. Now work two double crochets. Chain three. And slip stitch into the same stitch. Repeat this sequence 14 more times, so 16 times altogether. Now pause the video here and meet me back when you are done. One stitch left, make one half double crochet into very last stitch of the row. And row 7 is now complete. Let's start with row 8. So chain 1 and turn the row. Create one half double crochet into the first one, so into half double crochet from the previous row. Now this row is slightly different from row 7, so work two double crochet stitches around the chain from the previous row. Now chain 3 and create a slip stitch into the chain on the top right next to the double crochet stitch. We will repeat the sequence again, just that this time we will skip two double crochet stitches and then we will continue working around the chain. So skip two, work two double crochet stitches around the chain. Chain 3 Work 1 slip stitch into the chain on the top right next to the double crochet stitch Repeat the sequence 14 more times and meet me back when you are done Skip last two double crochet stitches and work one half double crochet into the very last stitch of the row. Now repeat row 8 six more times. Fasten off and cut the yarn.
The next step is a strap that you can tie in a bow. It's attached to the main part in the neck area. You will need a small amount of yarn. Make a slip knot and chain 42. When you are done with the chain, attach the chain to the main part with single crochet stitches. So work single crochet stitches evenly around the neck area. I've made approximately 3 stitches into each 2 rows, so 1.5 stitch per 1 row. No chain again, but this time 43. Turn and start in the second chain from the hook. Work one single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. Now fasten off and cut the yarn. Hide all the tails and you are done. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what would you like to see next in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new to this channel. And before I end this video, I would just like to say thank you to all of you who ever bought anything from my pattern stores. It really helps a lot. With your help, I can buy yarn, crochet hook, filming equipment, everything I need to film and share new videos and patterns. Also, big thank you to my pattern testers who are helping me and testing my crochet patterns. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day and until next time, bye!